Hello and welcome to the top 85 games for the BBC Micro countdown. In this episode we will be looking at game 73 in the countdown and this is a game called Bombed the Gate Part 2. Uh, so this game was published in Micro User Magazine in 1991 and it was developed by David Hopkins. Uh, it was actually a sequel to an earlier game that had been released in a prior issue of uh, the same magazine in 1989 that was simply called The Gate. Um, and The Gate was a similar premise, uh, being trapped in a maze in hell, um, but Bombed is uh, obviously the sequel to that game and, uh, in my opinion, a, a much better game as well. So, let's have a look and see what it's all about. Alright, so let's start it up. Here we are, the micro user presents Bombed by D. Hopkins. Nice little intro screen there. Loading screen data. Okay, so here we are. So we're trapped in hell. Um, conveniently though, we've got a few sticks of dynamite. And the aim of the game is to collect all of the crosses in order to get to the later levels. Um, now there are a few traps and demons and teleports along the way, as it says here. Uh, but the main thing to do is try and get those crosses as quickly as possible in order to get the highest bonus for the level. So, here we go. Here's our maze. So we are this little green chap here. And he can obviously collect the crosses. Um, and you can place dynamite sticks like this, which, when they detonate, obviously enable him to get to other areas of the maze. So that was a fairly easy level to just sort of ease us in. Aha, now we've got a demon. So, um, we will see if we, he will follow us depending on how we move. Now, if I was to go too far that way, he would obviously come down and get me. But I can trap him in here and blow him away and then I have another stick of dynamite here and you have to be very careful um, about the placement of your sticks of dynamite uh, because if you accidentally blow up one of the crosses uh, you will not be able to exit the level at all so you do have to take care uh, where you place them so uh, we're doing all right so far so you can see on the right hand side there it gives me an indication of uh, how many bombs I've got so on this level I've only got the one bomb, so I need to use it quite sparingly. There we go, we got him, so... There we are, well, the level is progressing. So it's a pretty, uh, pretty, pretty smart little game, I think. I mean, bearing in mind that this was something that came with a magazine, uh, so not a commercial publication. I think it's, uh, it's pretty good. Um, you know, it's got a good, it's got a good sort of concept. Um, each level is, uh, you know, it's a sort of, it's a puzzle for you to, to, to figure your way through, uh, which, which I like. Oh, we've got two demons now, look. Alright, let's use the old trick of trapping them. Let's get this one over here. There we are. Boom. So yeah, I, know, I think, um, although it's not, you know, not, not an overly complex game in terms of the gameplay, it's not, uh, you know, it's not, not too difficult in terms of being able to play it. Um, as the levels progress, it definitely it definitely increases in its uh, in, the, in the sort of difficulty stakes. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh dear, I'm not sure it should have let me run through the demon there. Actually, I think that was a slight glitch in the uh, slight glitch in the game. So let's see if we can. There we are. Got him. We've well, got both of them. Now, I have to say, in practice runs, I've. Uh, Often ended ended up blowing up the cross in the uh, the right hand corner there, which has then trapped me on the level forever. Okay, we only got the one bomb, so we need to be smart about where we put it. There we are. Conveniently, that opens up all of these chambers. I don't have any bombs left to get rid of the demons, so it's going to be fast to get out at the end. But we managed it, so all is well. Ooh, okay, so still only got the one bomb, so let's use that there gets us into the, the hidden crosses. Now <laughs> not entirely clear how he manages to get to the next level how when he gets that last cross, but uh, we'll let a uh, certain amount of um, poetic license. Now we've got this teleport here which takes us through. And whoop, there we are. That's 
that didn't actually have to use any bombs that time either. All right, so let's see what we what we have here. We've got a teleport. Got a got a couple of bombs. Now I'm going to be quite careful here because I don't want to put the don't want to put the bomb uh, don't want to put the bomb there because that might possibly will that blow up the cross? Let's see. Oh no no we're good we're good. Mm, now where's that now? The question is where does that teleport take us? Ooh. Okay, well that... Ah. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Can we get him from there? Ah! Ah, <laughs> there we are. Oh no! <laughs> it took too long! Uh, oh, oh goodness. Oh wow, well that was, that was quite, quite, quite confusing there. So, it looks like I did just about manage to get out of that level, um, but then the next level was a sudden demon onslaught, and uh, I got, I got uh, eaten straight away. So... Let's uh, let's see if we can zoom through the levels and get back to where we were before. So, right, we know what the we know what the drill is here. So just blow those up. Let's uh, get back this and this and this, and we're out. So there we go. I feel like we could definitely go do a little bit better than uh, last time. I'll uh, dispense with too much commentary in what I'm doing, and we know what's happening here with these levels. Let's, uh, let's see, see whether we can get a bit further. So, got the old demon there, blow him up, and away we go. Okay, right, yes, that's this level here, just pop the bomb in place. So I think, you know, graphically speaking, it's obviously not super detailed in terms of uh, you know color scheme is fairly fairly simple um, we haven't got a lot of uh, a lot of graphical detail in terms of our main character but it certainly moves pretty fast I to say um, he certainly sprints across the screen when he's getting to his uh, those those much needed crosses so let's just get these demons in place here okay and all right, I'm doing well, doing well. All right, so yes, this is the one. Oh yeah, we had a bit of trouble with this one last time, if I remember. So we need to put that bomb there. Oh, oh, oh dear. Ooh, okay. Ah, okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to get out on this attempt. No, no, no. Ooh, <laughs> no. Ooh. Oh, I think I've, <laughs> I think I've uh, exploited a little bit of a bug in the game there. I don't think I should have been allowed to do that, but never mind. I only managed to get out in one piece. That's the main thing. So let's uh, collect our crosses. I have to be a little bit forgiving with this game. Obviously, it wasn't a commercial release. It was a type in your game listing from a micro user. So, uh, which, by the way, I think actually. You know, I'd say I'm being forgiving of uh, the little bug there, but I think it's also another reason why I think it deserves, you know, a higher rating than perhaps some of the uh, more commercial releases in in this countdown. Because I mean, it's pretty damn good for a, for what is effectively a free game um, that you just type in yourself. Um, you know, you get a lot of good gameplay out of it, and I certainly enjoyed it tremendously uh, as a, as a child. I had, I had many. Uh, Fond hours playing this. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. I've, uh, <clears throat> I've uh, put myself into a bit of a quandary there. Oh, well, <laughs> ran into that teleport rather too speedily. So let's, let's be careful about not going into that teleport, since it takes us into uh, a place that we don't want to be in. There we go. So that releases that. So yeah, that teleport is of no use. But if we put a bomb there. We're all good, so we can get out of here. Oh, yeah, now this is the level, there we go, this is the level where we came unstuck last time. So we've got three bombs, so blow our way into this area here. Mm. Well, this is a, this is interesting, isn't it? How are we going to get these demons without dying? Hmm. <laughs> Because as soon as I uh, as soon as I open that up, they're going to come swarming in, aren't they? Hmm. I 
under. So if we blow that through there. Mm, okay, I wonder how this is going to work. So if I... Oh, no! <laughs> well, that didn't work. Quickly into the teleport. Okay. So. Okay. That gets us in there. No, you see, that's going to blow me up if I detonate myself. Oh, my goodness. Well, I did try, but it doesn't look like we're going to be getting past that level in this uh, in this particular run through. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. I think uh, Bombed the Gate uh, Part 2 is, uh, is an excellent game. And as I say, for a magazine listing uh, type it yourself game, pretty good effort from uh, Mr. David Hopkins. And uh, definitely a strong contender in at number 73, Bombed the Gate Part 2. And uh, please join me next time when we look at number 72. Until then, goodbye.